new location today. It's somewhere where I haven't been for about best part of two decades. Many of you will recognise this spot. Kiwi anglers especially. So I thought I'd come back and have a look at an old haunt. See what it can uh, offer compared to yesteryear. And it used to be a superb dry fly fishery for brown trout. But, um, you know, things have changed. It's Diddy Moe's come into the South Island. And this been a outflow from a lake. It doesn't flood. Well, very rarely, if it does, it's susceptible to Diddy Moe. And it has been the case it's been uh, plagued by Diddy Moe. But I thought I'll come and have a look anyway. You never know. I'm sure there's still fish here. And tend to fish with the dry fly anyway, most of the day. So we'll just go see what it has to offer. to fish the stream. First started fishing it in the mid 90s. Uh, the fish sort of average two to two to six pound but I did get fish up around eight, nine pound occasionally. Look at how beautiful this river is. Beautiful pool in there. From memory there wasn't many fish in there years ago but it does seem to have improved. This is another run that used to regularly produce decent fish. Remember Dad catching one about six or seven pound out of the top of this run. But nearly every time I fished it, I got a fish. Particularly if it was the first trip for the season in here. It didn't matter what time of year it was, if I come through here, I'd normally just catch a fish at the top of it. I'm gonna also run dry down through the middle. Oh, here's one. Oh, got him. Oh, he's off too. Just a little fish. Again, but he just, again, just come down and he sort of pinched at the fly. I don't know that one, actually. Just like the one I lost before, not a big fish. Oh, that's a good one. Got him. Yeah, it's better. Ah, oh, he's not big, but he's a fish. Here we're on. First tour in Brown. 18 years. Silver flanks. And he's doing what the Hurinoi trout used to always do. Knuckle down and be stubborn. You know, a little bit bigger than this, of course. Not a bad fish. Even by uh, the standards of when I fished here last, this is a pretty decent fish. Lovely looking piece of water up there, I must say. Well, I never used to jump this much. It's really acrobatic. It's tied himself out a wee bit. Oh, lovely. Nothing wrong with that. Let's have a look at that. Jag attack or something like that there, but a good fish of two and a quarter to two and a half pound. Back. Lovely bit of water in here. I don't know, he's such a picturesque river, but um, just look 
Let the last size fish come up down the hatch. That's the beauty of this sort of fishing. Well, the river that's got reasonable numbers of fish in it, um, that can happen at any time. So, fishing blind through the light of water is a good tactic. It's not one fish per kilometre sort of water. He's on about two metres off the bank up there. He's coming. Oh, he looked at it. Oh, he's coming. Got him. Oh. Took it. Got him. That's a reasonable condition fish. Surprised not fighting well. Need to get out. And he's gone. Just like that. Yeah, I sort of cocked that up, I think. I remember fishing this particular run oh, 20 years ago. The dry fly. I think it was a black, black net or something like that. And just running my fly through this particular section of this huge big trout come out from out of the bottom there just come up jaws opened up wide clamp right over my fly and the fly squirted out the quarter on its jaw and I struck there's nothing there of course that's probably the biggest trout I've seen in the Huronoi just come up out of the depths out of that green water there you go Trophy fish, and it looks like a fish line up here actually. Got him. There was a fish line up there. Good to see a few numbers of fish around now. Another decent one. I have to start spot, trying to spot these things. I see your round line on the edges now. The last 50 metres. Three pounder. Jumpy fish. I can't recall them being jumpers back in the day. Beautiful surroundings here. South Island of New Zealand. Trout like this all day long will be a lot of fun. Split down his dorsal fin. He's got a nice. I remember thinking years ago that the trout almost looked like sea runs in this river when it was fishing well. And you can see that silver glint on there. I'm not saying it is a sea run. I'm just saying they look like it. Beautiful fish, good quality. Not a monster, but good quality, all the same. Some pieces of water just seem to have something about it that the trout like. Well, another run looks exactly the same to us. Just, uh, yeah. Empty, seemingly empty anyway. Yep, good one come up. Got him.
Took that black net, yep. That was a good one, it's about the one size of the one I just landed. Two and a half to three pin. Ah, uh, no, it's not as big as the last one. Maybe a two and a half. Uh, still, I'm happy with that. He wasn't going to say no to that fly though, that's the, that's the thing about it, so I might just persist with that for a wee bit longer. Oh look at that fish behind it! Look at the fish behind it! Look at the size of that fish behind it! Here! Yeah. a massive brown line behind it. That's how massive, it must be 6 or 7 pounds, you see it there? Big brown! Where's he going? Oh, that's a thumper. Have a good condition, we fish. Definitely on the improve from when I was here last, say 18 years ago. Oh yeah, probably the fish of the day, I think. I mean, it's not big. Only about two and a half pound. Lovely. There you go. Well, oh, there's that big one after it again. Look, look. You see that? Look, look. You see that big fish? What are you trying to eat that trout? Look. He comes back again. Look. Do you see that big shadow down there? Ah, probably just as well that little one got off. All right, here we go. Oh, come on. Slack line. One and a half pounder. Taking that black gnat, aren't they? Just shows you what a deadly fly that black gnat is. Superior pattern to the humpy. It is on the lake, so I don't, don't see why it wouldn't be here. All right, two pounds. It's just a matter of another spot in the water, but I've got no trouble seeing that fly floating down the middle of that run. Quite easy. One and a half pin. Not that big. The smallest of the day, most, most likely. Oh, yeah. Not a bad wee fish. Not a bad wee fish. Good fella. Guess. So they're up now. In that picture there's a trout. Can you see it? He rose just before. When you're using a dry fly, that is exactly what you want to see. I used to catch a lot of fish out of this run, but again, add more water in it. Is it higher volumes? Oh, see if he takes this black hat. Coming up. Got him. The old black hat. Doesn't let me down very often. Because it's a pretty nondescript sort of fly, it's just a dark silhouette. Represent anything from a beetle to a blowfly, to cicada, just a bug. And um, you know, when they got one eye up to the surface looking, well, probably in this case, in her annoy, they've probably got two eyes up there actually, this time of year. Um, it's, oh, it's just a great fly, and already it's proven to be more <laughs> deadly than the humpy. Bad looking trout either.
Definitely the heaviest trout of the day. Unlike the one I lost earlier on today. Alright. Yeah. Turn three quarter, three pound. Could be slightly better condition. But still good enough. Sweet. You have to scan that water a lot more carefully. There's a wee divot line here, and there's another trout, similar size of the previous two have just landed. Line in there, but he's just a smudge. I almost walked past him, I hope he didn't see me. Here he comes. Got him. Oh, yeah. Two to three pound, you'd have to say. That might be a bit more than three, actually. It's getting bigger as it comes to school. It might be three and a half. Oh, that flies on the other side of its mouth, I can see. <laughs> I just realised that now. So, easy does it. Just land into it a bit there. I can clearly see that fly. Where you going? I think I'm going to hold my ground here. Oh, I know that. Yeah, be another three. Well, I was on the outside of its mouth, but it wasn't coming out in a hurry. Lovely. There you go. Freedom is yours. Yeah, you try and get me around the rocks, big fella. <laughs> See him lying there along the edge of the river. I knew it was a, a bigger fish, but um, yeah, didn't look as good a condition as some of the other ones I've seen. That colour fish there is actually quite easy to see on this ditty mode. I've seen him for a long way back. Smoky, smoky grey in the water. Funny, the harder you pull them, the more they pull back. Oh, got ya. Got ya. Another jack. Very big fish line down here. Probably equal to the size of the one I seen chasing those small trout around the run end of my line. But I've also noticed another one line up here. You can hear that wind picking up now, so I'm having to yell a bit. One of the better ones I've caught recently. 
dark shape just out here from these triple rocks. There's a trout. I'm going to give it a black net. So far today I've used the black net. Humpy, both size 12s. Yellow bodied humpy. And then uh, size 16 pheasant tail. By far the most successful fly has been the black net. <clears throat> Followed by the pheasant tail. Used that when the fish have rejected the black net. Right. Got a bit of a breeze coming down now, you'll hear it in the speaker. Are you coming up? Got him. Probably the largest one of the day. Looking at that. Have a look at you. Around that three and three and a half to four pound mark. Nice bit of water up on this bend coming up, so hopefully there'll be another one or two up there. Same size, I'd say. Same make and model. A bad fish, that one. Jack can't. Probably the fish of the day, yeah. I got a four pounder earlier on, didn't I? Well, I oh know I got a four and a half at one stage. Looks out. Look at ya. Yeah, that'd be a nice four pounder. Might put it in the net scales, but yeah, it's a good fish. A lovely colour, better condition. Just a superior fish to the last few. Oh, there you go. Awesome. Trout line out there on the sand. Just landed that one before, just here. And the prior fish down on that wee point there. So there's a bit of a stack of fish around at the present time. Give it the black nap. Coming, it's coming, it's coming, swimming over, a long way over, coming up, go, cool. got him, just like the previous fish, <laughs> oh yeah, oh. it's almost got his, like he's got lock jaw, three down to this one, Is 
kind of shaped line out here. It looks a bit fishy. Cast a fly over it, nothing happened. I thought, oh no, nah, it's just another bit of weed. Cast it out again and carried on walking and my line just tightened up and I've got a fish on. And this is where we're at. Cartwheel in brown. <laughs> Very random. But I'll take it. I'm planning. Might not have been the classic presentation. Got another fish down here. It's not that. Long. Lean. I'm a jack. Oh, there's a jack, I think. There you go. Oh, thank you very much. That was random. Yeah. Okay. I'll take it.